Hey, what's up you lot? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of The Random Pick because it is Sunday, which means it's Random Pick Day. Uh, and this could potentially be one of, if not the last episode of The Random Pick for FIFA 18. Just because we're getting close, you know, we're, we're within a couple of weeks now uh, of FIFA 19 really being a thing. Uh, and I'm not sure whether or not you guys still want to see this content, you know, in the next couple of weeks. So this could be one of the final ones. So if so, do me a favor, hit me with that thumbs up button on this video. I've got the these things in me hands, which means it's going to be another Siri based episode, of course. You guys seem to like them the most, uh, and that seems to be the way the random pick has progressed throughout this year. So uh, I'm happy to bring it to you. So. As always, we will go through our special players within the club. Um, and yes, I will use use these players that are loans if we get the chance. You know, whatever Siri gives to us. Uh, Tots players that are tradable and a team of the year. Tots players that are tradable. Tots players that are tradable. Uh, and then we get Tots and also like Festival of Football players. Like, a lot of these are really good. I'd love a Yaya, for instance. I wonder. I mean, the odds are going to be... Uh, there's but there's like 100 players that we could get here. So literally a 1 in 100 chance that I get these players because... I will go up to page number 10 uh, and this is where we will end things off with like the, the end of the footies and stuff like that so we'll see what we get uh, it's, uh, just just look forward to it I, I, I hope we don't get someone that we've had before if so like I've said in the last couple of weeks uh, I would probably just rerun it at that point hey Siri please give me a random number between 1 and 10 random number between 1 and 10 is 8 is eight okay? So I'm guessing we're in untradeable territory still. Eight is actually a pretty good page. There's, I mean, there's some defenders on there, but like, there, there's some solid players. I mean, Hullet is on there, so uh, there's always a chance, isn't there? Shall we see what Siri gives us? Hey Siri, please give me a random number between one and ten. Random number between one and ten is three. Is three. Oh, we were so close. So close to Hullet. But unfortunately, uh, I mean, like, not unfortunately, because it's still a 93 rated Harry Kane. He will fit in the team just nicely. Um, but it was so very close. So very close to prime rude Hullet. Damn it. Okay, well, we have our first player. 93 rated Harry Kane. Hey, Siri, please give me a random number between 1 and 10. Random number between 1 and 10 is 7. Is seven okay? So we go one more page back. What's this going to be? This is the really high-rated untradeable players. Pretty much anyone on this page is going to be a beast. Should we see? Should we see what we get given? Hey Siri, please give me a random number between one and ten. Random number between one and ten is one. Is one. Oh, do you know what? That's probably the one that I didn't want. <laughs> because although it's the highest rated player, I get a 98 rated player on the random pick today. It's a goalkeeper. It is Gigi Buffon. So um, definitely not what I was after when I saw all of the talent on that page. But what can I do? You know, it's all completely random here. Hey Siri, please give me a random number between 1 and 10. Random number between 1 and 10 is 8. Is eight oh, okay? So we literally go back to this page once again. So does that mean we get a second shot at Rude Hullet today? Um, obviously, the only one we can't use here is going to be Harry Kane because we've already got him in the team. Let's see what we get given. Hey Siri, please give me a random number between one and ten. Random number between one and ten is eight. Is eight? Oh, it's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be Rude Hullet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We get something quite close to Rude Hullet. To be fair, stats wise, we get ourselves Prime Raja Nine Golan. Prime Raja Nine Golan. Tots Raja Nine Golan. This is how much I'm comparing him towards Rude Hullet. Uh, same rating as Hullet. And actually, in in terms of stats, he's got some that are better, some that are a little bit worse. He's probably not going to be as good as Hullet, but he's a really solid option in the team. Looking forward to sticking him into the squad. Shall we get into it then? So, we move on in to the normal random pick where I get to now choose my formation, choose my squad to use in today's video. So, I had a little think about it for a bit, had a little bit of an idea in my head, realizing that two of my players were from the Serie A. Uh, gonna go with a 4-3-2-1, which is definitely one of the more popular or most used formations in this game this year. And this is where I'm gonna be playing everybody. So, uh, obviously, goalkeeper for Buffon, uh, left center mid for Nangolan, and then a lone striker for Harry Kane. 
Kane. Uh, the team around them looks a little bit like this. Uh, once again, full special team. For the past, I don't know how many weeks, that's what I've done on the random pick, just because, well, I have so much stuff in my club that I might as well use it, right? And it is that time of the game where everyone's using crazy, crazy teams. Buffon is our first random pick player. He is 98 rated uh, and has some of the best stats that you've ever seen on a goalie on FIFA. Um, let's hope he can play up to those stats, shall we? Now, in defense, I've got two Futties winner fullbacks. So I've got uh, Jordan Lukaku, who plays for Lazio. Belgium gets that strong link to Nangolin. And then Vasaiko on the right-hand side, who's going to get a triangle of chemistry with a festival of football, Jimenez, and then also Party in midfield. Uh, but the other player in the defense there is Mehdi Benatia, 94-rated team of the season. If you've watched my videos for a while now, you know that I really like him. think he's an amazing defender on the game. Uh, and, of course, gets a strong link to a 98-rated Buffon. Like, that's kind of OP. That's ridiculous. Uh, so that works. Now, moving into the midfield, I knew that Nine Golan was going to be a hard worker, and so was Thomas Party. So I had a little bit more flair added in there with um, Kevin De Bruyne. And, of course, that got a Belgium link off to Nine Golan as well. So he's well and truly sorted for chemistry. Uh, Nine Golan is 93 rated, is a member of Club 80, nearly a member of Club 90, literally two defending and three pace away from being Club 90, which is just mental. Although I think on FIFA... 17? Pretty sure he was club 90, right? Did he have stats all in the 90s? I can't remember. Uh, but I don't think he had quite as good of a season for Roma. Uh, and people were actually quite surprised when he got that card a few months ago. Uh, and then... To, to round this team off, Kane's obviously not super, super quick, so we've put a couple of very quick players there. Uh, team of the Season Sun, Team of the Season Sterling. <clears throat> you guys know how, uh, how I feel about both of those players. They are up there as top tier uh, items in this game for me. But our third and final random pick player is Harry Kane. 93 rated Second player of the month, I believe it is. Uh, 80 pace, 89 dribbling, 96 shooting, and 90 physical. Six foot two, high, high work rates, three star skill moves, four star weak foot. Like, that's that card could still compete. Like, just looking at the stats and stuff, yeah, it could still compete, even though this was re released in, like, January or something, uh, or February or something like that, and then we've had so many crazy things come out since then. Uh, it's mad that he's actually still got relatively decent stats, and I feel like he could compete. So I went into some games, and I think I probably played in what is the last ever daily knockout tournament, right? So I played these games, you know, a few days ago, um to get this video ready for you guys uh, ahead of time and well it is kind of sad not knowing that I won't be playing a DKT anymore because obviously the weekend league is, is now going to be done after this weekend I'm pretty sure like it will be done for FIFA 18 uh, and that then closes off the servers on that side of things uh, and then on FIFA 19 we're going to have fuck division rivals right so so there's no daily knockout tournament and the way you qualify for the weekend league and whatnot is to, to continually earn points within rivals, I believe. So, uh, yeah, this this whole four games to win in a row to unlock the, the weekend league is, is no more, which is pretty interesting. So, played in my final daily knockout tournament. I've got to say, I didn't win it. I, I came up against someone which just... Uh, got the got slightly got the better of me towards the end, so uh, I didn't actually win it, but I wasn't super bothered. I just like to play for like these types of videos where it's a squad builder type thing, and all we're looking for is some clips to, to add towards the game. Uh, I just like to play on the DKT servers because they are a lot better than than peer to peer in, in seasons and stuff. Um, so this is my preferred option. If if the requirements are there, then this is my preferred option, and I imagine this is probably going to be my preferred option in 19 as well to play for rivals just because uh it, it's it's going to be those servers as well i'm pretty sure like it's going to be the, the dedicated servers um as a as opposed to like the peer-to-peer -peer, which is relying on both people's internet and for some reason like we're, we're living in 2018 but i swear my internet is living in like 2014 or something uh, i'm supposed to get good numbers but it is not super reliable and it, it does my head in sometimes but you know those are just totally first world problems but um 
So playing on these servers is obviously the best way for me to get the smoothest gameplay in, and I feel like it makes me play better as well, hence why I like to play on them uh, for any possible video that I do. Uh, the Daily Knockout Tournament has been my friend this year. I, I genuinely have played so, so, so many games in that uh, just because it's so much smoother. But the team itself in this particular squad, like, I haven't played FIFA 18 in a while. Uh, obviously fresh from getting back from Germany, playing FIFA 19 quite a bit at Gamescom. Uh, it, I, I haven't felt the want or need to to go back onto FIFA 18 because I've been fortunate enough to have as much FIFA 19 like gameplay and stuff as as I've had. So uh, yeah, to, to go on here is a bit of a step back. I'm busy trying to like time my shots on FIFA 18 and that's just not a thing. So basically I'm just doing very, very poor uh, low driven shots at this stage of the game uh, when I'm trying to, to, to trying to time my shots, which is obviously a feature for 19. Um, but those were the goals. Let's give a little rating to all of our players, especially our random pick players, shall we? We're going to give a four and a half star value for money for Buffon and an eight out of ten. Uh, for me, it doesn't necessarily play like a 98 rated player or doesn't save shots like I would expect a 98 rated uh, keeper to save. So uh, there's just a few times where he almost seems like small in goal, which I wasn't expecting. And, and for some reason, there's something about Buffon. The last couple of FIFAs just hasn't played up to that potential, in my opinion. But still, did all right. You know, you you can tell that he's going to save quite a lot of shots. Just maybe I would expect a little bit more. Uh, the centre-back duo couldn't really rate them more highly. Same with the full-backs. Like, this is one of the first times I've had to actually use Vasaiko, uh, and he's brilliant. Really, really good. Uh, so is Lukaku. Super quick and uh, very, very high physical on, this, on that defender. Uh, so now moving into the midfield then. Yeah, we had a bit more flair in De Bruyne. Has that skill moves, has the weak foot as well. Uh, Thomas Party really is just like a defensive midfielder holding that down. Works really hard, gets into like interceptions and stuff. Good tackler and stuff like that. And then, of course, we have Rajan Nain Golan. 93 rated Nain Golan is... Uh, an 8.5 out of 10 for me. Like, he's he's very, very good and does have great stats. But he's relatively short, so he doesn't necessarily... Like, if we compare him to Hullet, then that's why you can see... If Hullet was a 10, that's why Nine Golan's an 8.5. Just because he's not as tall. He doesn't have the skill moves, the weak foot, the ability uh, that Hullet does on this game. Uh, and that's so... I, I tend to compare him against the best that I've used, which is, of course, Rude Hullet. Um, and then we move on to that front three of ours. All from the Premier League. One from Man City, two from Tottenham. Uh, Sterling, super quick, super rapid. The weak foot lets him down slightly, but of course, you don't, it doesn't necessarily matter on the right-hand side. Son is brilliant. Uh, one of the best cards we've ever seen on any FIFA ever. He always is. He's just ridiculous. And then Harry Kane gets a 9 out of 10. I thought he performed well. Uh, and actually, a 4.5 star value for money. Like, he was... I don't, I don't remember him being super expensive at the time so uh worth it for me to go ahead and unlock this bad boy uh, and I, like i said I, th I think he still competes on this game even to this day uh, i know you can't unlock him right now but you could go out and buy the tots and it won't be very expensive anymore uh, or the festival of football or the team of the year whatever you want to do i'm sure he's less coins than you probably think he is so there you go, guys that is the random pick for today do me a favor hit that thumbs up button don't forget to Subscribe to the channel if you're new. FIFA 19 is just around the corner. Bear with me, guys. Have a lovely Sunday, and I'll catch you next time.